Welcome everybody to my how I shoot photos for Etsy video here on my Selling with Sparkle Dump channel. Now to get right into it, what I'm shooting um, right now are a bunch of these vintage 1950s elastic threads. I won these at auction. When I say I won, I mean I purchased them at auction. This box was about $20 and I think I have two or 300 individual spools of this vintage thread in here. Now, I unfortunately, every single one of these is has like a curled box. Um, the packaging is curling because it's so old. Um, it's sitting in a hot warehouse. So I will give the buyer the option of buying it in its original package, but that's going to increase the shipping by quite a bit. And so what I'm doing is I'm photographing them without the package. And here's my setup. I've got my basic tripod. I do have my nice Nikon camera. This was about $350 on, on Amazon. Uh, definitely worth the investment if you're gonna be doing any photography for, uh, for uh, Etsy. iPhones, when shooting in a light box like this, tend to make the photos very green and they take a lot of post processing, so I don't use uh, my iPhone to take Etsy photos. But basically, my equipment is this tripod, which was like $12 on Amazon, this Nikon camera, which is the biggest investment by far, this light box, which was about $40 on Amazon, and then these, which these pieces of paper, these little backdrops, I got at Michael's, and I got them. Forgive my, my garage, it's a bit of a mess. I got these at Michael's, and these are just books filled with patterns, different pattern backgrounds. And what I do is I went through and I chose some that I feel would make a good background for the thread. Um, some of these are a bit too busy. This is a nice kind of leaf pattern. This is a bit too intense, I think, for my purposes, for the thread. Um, but anyway, I went through these and I think that these are, how much are these? These are like, I don't know, 10 or 12 bucks a piece. Definitely worth it because what you can do is you can take that backdrop and you can rip out the pages that you want to photograph with. And then when you look at them here in the viewfinder, this is the photo that I will use as my thumbnail image. It's really that simple. Once I'm done taking the photos, I pull them into Photoshop. I do a little bit of cropping, slight color adjustment because believe it or not, it, you can have trouble getting the right color settings even if you have this set to auto when you're doing the photos. But basically, that's it. Um, I'm gonna shoot this kind of jumble of, of threads here on, a, on multiple different backgrounds to try to get the right look and feel. And if you look online here, you can see I'm trying to emulate this look because I really, really like this. And I know this shot isn't very good for the video, but this is the look and feel I'm going for. I really like this. It's showing that there's plenty in stock. There's tons to, to, to look through and buy. I'm not really a fan of this geometric pattern. I do like this, but I don't think that that's something that I could really accomplish with this. So anyway, after this is done, I'm going to remove this colorful background and put a black background in the back and just take some individual shots of just one single spool close up so they can see the quality of the thread. And that's basically it. That is how I shoot uh, things for eBay, or for Etsy rather. I've done this with tons of things. I've done this with all of my other products that I'm selling on Etsy, including my doll heads, which I also won at auction. So this doll head, for instance, I put this in some floral moss and I stick it right in my light box. And again, I shoot it here with my DSLR, with my Nikon, and it makes really, really good photos for Etsy. And that's it. Check out my store, uh, Vintage Hobby Supplies. I'll put a link to it in the channel here in the video so you can see it. Appreciate you guys watching it. it this is really fun to do. I, I absolutely love shooting. Um, what's this blue stuff on my glasses? Weird. I love shooting videos um, to show you guys my process. This is one in a series of many about my store and what I do, how I get prepped for Etsy and, and whatnot. So be expecting more in the series. Again, thank you for watching the short video. I really, really appreciate your view. If you'd like to subscribe, please do hit the notification. I sell a bunch of stuff on Etsy. My wife and I, we go to estate sales and we'll find cool stuff and we'll flip it. We'll sell it on Etsy and eBay. So that's what this channel is. It's a resale channel. And this is just one process. One part of the process is getting things prepped for Etsy. Thanks a lot. Bye.